Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angelica Sykes, big mountain free rider from the UK and also welcome to Italy. It is a very snowy morning here in Trevigna. We might not have the sun, but we have got plenty of snow. It does mean it's perfect for training for heading to Japan in just a couple of weeks. I can't believe it. Also, it's an ideal segue to talk about backcountry safety. Now, backcountry riding, free riding, off piece, whatever you want to call it, is so close to my heart. And also the safety involved is such an important subject to cover. So it might not be the sexiest subject, but we're going to cover it today. We're going to talk about first aid kits. Now, up there with the list of items that you absolutely should be carrying with you, the transceiver on your chest, the shovel and the probe, the water source, the food source, a first aid kit is also absolutely vital. Now this year I'm working with Life Systems and Life Venture. If you're UK based, you will no doubt have heard of them. They're a British institution and they've been providing us with the really important, really useful equipment that you need for life in the outdoors, life in the mountains, hiking, camping, you name it, you can find it on their website. And this year our prayers have been answered and they've put together a first aid kit specific for backcountry riding and it is brilliant. Again, a weird thing to get excited about because if you're using this, it means something has gone wrong, you know, not deliberately, but a minor incident all the way up to a major incident, but that's so important that we have it with us. And this is what it looks like. So this is the Winter Sports Pro Kit. And I'm just gonna open it up and show you what's in there so you can have a little see about all the really, really cool stuff that they've included. And it's tantamount to how much thought has gone into the design of this kit. And it shows how much effort has been put in. And that is what makes it such a really good, like such a good piece of equipment. Disclaimer, I am terrible at vlogging. So like, bear with me because I stutter. I make no sense sometimes. My accent's nauseating at the best of times. Um, and it's quite likely that I'll accidentally swear. So please ignore me. I do apologise in advance. I'll try to keep the explicit to a minimum. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Despite how kind of big it looks, oh, got things falling out. Um, it's really, really lightweight. And when we talk about anything in terms of what goes in your backpack for a backcountry day out, lightweight is the key word that describes everything. And this is super light but they have not scraped um, with any of the important stuff that goes in it. So it's been divided into sections, as you can see, which makes the usage even more simple. So we shall start at the back here. There is a section, if you can see, I'm gonna take my mittens off so you can see what's going on. <laughs> ah, there we go. So you can see at the back here, we've got gloves and we've got info. So if you haven't got a first aid certificate and you are looking to find out how to use everything in here, the information is in this little section here. You also have gloves. So if anything slightly unsanitary has happened, if there's a wound, if you're dealing with people, if you're dealing with people's wounds, you need to be wearing gloves. So they're included in there. Then we'll open it up and get to the exciting stuff. So at the bottom here, you can see thermal protection. The fact that all the sections have been labelled, like I say, it's really, really useful and it does make it very simplistic. First up, we have the Life Systems SPF 50 Sun Protection. So I'm going to do that kind of YouTube vlogger makeup tutorial thing. Oh my God, this is what I'm using. This is a product. <laughs> but it is sweat resistant and it is high SPF, so it's 50. Now the fact that it's sweat resistant for me is the best point. Because let's be real here, all those pictures you see on Instagram of those free riders looking really gnarly, they've got snow in their face, they're looking super strong. And it will have taken a while to get to there and it will have taken blood, sweat and tears. No doubt the mascara would have been halfway down my face. I'll have snow in my hair, I'll be cold, too hot, just a roller coaster of emotions. So sweat resistant, that's perfect. Also in this section, we have the disposable hand warmers. Now, I'm one of those silly bullies that takes my glove off, sticks my hand in the snow while I'm hiking, and then by the time I put it back in my glove, it's freezing cold. 
Also, if you're one of those people that has bad circulation to their extremities, so their fingers get really cold, these are really useful. Make sure you keep replacing these. It doesn't work if you just use it and then don't replace them. The whole point of having a backcountry first aid kit like this is that you replace all the super important items. Finally, in this section, we have a thermal blanket. Now, if the worst has come to worst and you do need to use this, it's an absolute lifesaver and it's amazing that they've included this because generally you would have had to buy this separately but it's included within this cat this kit here this cat <laughs> making up words that was a mix of kit and cat next up we have this section here which is bleeding and breaks and strains so there are just some people skiing past but we're just going to ignore them they're enjoying the powder <laughs> so we'll open this up and we'll start with the breaks and strains section so we have all the different types of bandages in here, all the different types of supports as well, um, different measurements, and it's really useful. So whether you've got a strain, whether you've strained your ankle, for example, or whether you need a support for your arm, uh, for your elbow, your shoulder, that's the section for you. In this section across from the bleeding section, we have tape. So if you are securing a wound and making sure that it's all been sanitized and you just need to secure it while you get to go and see some professional medical attention the cohesive tape and the uh, zinc oxide tape very very useful indeed so pop that back then it fell out but in the middle section above that you have dp now say for example you're staying in a mountain hut for the evening you can't get a warm bath or a warm shower to ease those aches and pains dp will be a lifesaver and I know a lot of people absolutely swear by it so the fact that it's included is brilliant. Next section we have another section for bleeding this is the less extreme bleeds and we also have a medication section. Now Life Systems haven't just put any old plasters in this section they've put all singing all dancing waterproof plasters. Now these are amazing last week I had a bit of an incident, an accident incident, where my snowboard boot, my thermals, my socks had all rubbed together on one day out on the mountain and they'd made third degree burns around my ankle. It was really super painful. But with this, so sealed the wound, helped it recover, they're absolutely brilliant. You also have some um, smaller plasters as well for little cuts and scrapes. And then in this section we have paracetamol and ibuprofen really well self-explanatory about how useful that is <laughs> we have alcoholic wipes in this back section over here uh, we also have some um dressings and all the other little bits and bobs there's also a pair of scissors in this section now these are really lightweight so leave them in there they're really useful and you can keep them with all the dressings to make sure that you're cutting things down so they're the correct size now, probably my favorite addition to this kit is what's included here on the top. It's a safety light stick. Now, if the worst cut does come to worst and you are stuck in an emergency situation and you are waiting for the services to come and help you, this stick will save your life. It is the difference between being found and not being found potentially. So really cool that it's been included. Shut that back in there. And then there you have it. That is the Life Systems Winter Pro Backcountry First Aid Kit. I highly recommend you head onto their website, purchase one. Really lightweight, really useful. Pop it in the bottom of your rucksack. Now, another couple of vital items that I always carry with me. A bivvy bag. Now, if you're camping, hiking, and of course, backcountry riding, a bivvy bag, again, just like the thermal blanket, is really useful. If you are trapped, and there has a, ter a terrible situation has occurred um, and you're waiting for, for help or say you've just rescued a friend, this again could be the difference between life and death. Sounds really weird to say that, but this is the kind of terms that you're talking about when you deal with an extreme sport like this. But the more equipment that you have to help aid any situations like that, the better, of course. Now, water source. 
Now, this may seem just like any old steel bottle, but carrying this is helping with your ultimate footprint on the mountain. Of course, as nature lovers, we want to minimise the negative impact that we're leaving upon the mountain. You've got to think about the wax on the bottom of your board, you've got to think about all the litter and things like that. So without having to use any plastic, you can carry a steel bottle. Now this Life Venture one is secure, it's nice and big, but without being too heavy, and it keeps the water very cold indeed. Science, y'all. Um, also, people find this really funny, but I bring tea up onto the mountain. Um, I'll be the one laughing when I'm sipping on green tea at the top of the run while everybody else is uh, having their cold water. But absolutely vital. Now, all of that, along with the transceiver, the shovel, the probe, these are so important i honestly can't stress it enough there are still people out there who ride free ride without any equipment you can see countless videos on youtube about all the things that go wrong when say one person in the group is wearing a transceiver and carrying a rucksack and the rest aren't just be smart be safe and that is what leads to the best day on the mountain that euphoric feeling when you're descending after you've earned your line making your turns through the snow knowing that your safety and the safety of your friends you've thought it through every decision is calculated and that's what makes a good free rider being smart cool calm collective and also being a good team player so over the course of this vlog if I don't give it up because it's just too terrible, uh, I'm going to teach you all about the things that you need to be carrying in your rucksack. When I head to Japan, I'm going to be hooking up with a really cool crew of my friends that I always free ride with. And we'll be hearing their opinions, what they carry with them, what their little go-to items are, their must-haves in their backpacks, apart from the transceiver, the shovel and the probe and the first aid kit, of course. That's what's important as well. Talking to your friends, gaining knowledge, gaining skill and being the most Call. what's the word i'm looking for what is the word i'm looking for making the most comprehensive kit a possible <laughs> this is it vlogging is difficult i have a newfound respect for vloggers anyway i'm not going to prattle on anymore i'm just going to say thank you for listening thank you for watching i hope you found this useful i'm going to put the link below so that you can purchase it yourself um please do come back to the blog if you haven't found this too nauseating <laughs> um, and I look forward to talking to you guys a little bit more do let me know your thoughts in the comments below have a great day and most of all remember look deep into nature and you will understand everything better